So when I was a kid, mm -hmm. we had, why am I so laggy? Why am I so laggy? I'm teleporting around the screen. What's going on? Why am I so laggy? What's happening? Hello? I had a, I had a joke ready, but now I'm so laggy. What's going on? Why is it like this? If I go to the game, does it get better? No. What the fuck is happening? Worse. Why is this happening? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this has never happened before. This is not an up. I'm, it's not an uploading issue. I'm seeing it on my screen. What the hell? The Elden Ring curse. Why is it? Why would this? What is this? If I switch to this? No, it's like all of Streamlabs is lagging. Wow, yeah. What is going on? I don't know what this is that's happening. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Is it that we have, well, I guess not. I was gonna say we have some like YouTube tabs open. Why would that make this happen? I don't know. I often have YouTube tabs open. Yeah. Um, My computer's off. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's do some experimenting. If I, if I turn off the camera. I'm going to do a speed test. It's not the internet because we see it happening. It's something oh. on my computer. It's the camera. Yeah. Okay. The internet is fine. No, it's Streamlabs. What the heck is going on? Is it... Elden Ring is lagging too. What is happening? Um... <laughs> I'm gonna stop this. Okay. Seems smooth. Seems smooth. Seems smooth. Y -M -C -A. Is it is it smooth? Y -M -C -A. It seems smooth. I think I need to refresh this. Refresh. It's continue it's counting this as the same stream, I guess. Maybe because the name is the same. Mm. Um okay. Alright. I think we're better now. I don't know what the deal with that was. Uh, anyways, can I, I'm going to do my, I'm going to start my joke over. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Is everyone <laughs> reset? Is everyone reset. ready? I, I had a joke. Take is two. everyone ready for me to start it over? And uh, scene. Okay. So when I was a kid, mm -hmm. we had a fort, a fort in our backyard, like a play fort. Mm -hmm. And I would always go up there, but in the fall, a bunch of leaves would fall like down into it. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I needed to, uh, clean out the fort of all the leaves it makes sense yeah and so kind of slippy. i was going in there and i was reaching in i was pulling out all the leaf piles but i reached into one and i felt a pain in my hand and when i lifted it up i had put my hand directly on a yellow jacket dang and, a, and at the, the danger and at the time it really hurt uh -huh. and i was really upset about it mm -hmm. but now looking back it doesn't seem so bad because it was more of an elden sting <laughs> yes there it is Woo! there it is let's go yeah! all right all right now we're ready to go who doggy we had to wait a while for that one but you know <laughs> damning praise from julia <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Can we freeze the stream again? What the fuck? What the hell? 
What is happening? She was trying to get into my desk. By she, standing on my subwoofer. She knocked over your subwoofer. She did. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> Why is every Elden Ring stream so cursed? <laughs> Start over again, please. This is bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. My God, save me from this. Every, every week, I'm so excited to play Elden Ring. And every week, something goes horribly wrong. And I wish I could have one good one. I wish I could. Uh, hold on. I'm working on a joke. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You, well, maybe I should save it for when the ads don't work. Yeah. So I'm trying that to do the ads differently this time. So the ads are going to run at 30 minutes into the stream and then at an hour and a half into the stream. So hopefully when they run at 30 minutes, it'll be deep enough into the stream that it'll have gotten its shit together and the ads will run successfully. That's my, that's my thinking on this. So here's hoping. Um, we have some important news, some big news. First and foremost, mm -hmm. thanks to one Julia Lepeti, mm -hmm. we have in the store right now, are you ready for this? New shirts. Two new, new shirts. New shirts, baby. Two new shirts. Two new shirts. The first one, look at this. Two chairs, two beers. Secret Sleepover Society Observation Department. <laughs> Marriage two. That's the way we like it right there. That's what we love. And the other one, the other new one. Get out of here. The other new one. Jukum Justin. Jukum Justin. Jukum Justin. We finally made the Jukum Justin shirt. So we got we got two new good ones right here, and you can get them on a bunch of different stuff. You want a hoodie? You want a sticker? You want a mug? <laughs> <laughs> I really like the mug, actually. The mug is is kind of frightening. Yeah, a little bit. You can get it on a on a on a on a sweatshirt that's i don't see it but you can do it well if well if you go down to the oh i, I don't know where the sweatshirt i know is. you can do it yeah it's somewhere what is the what did they do with the zip hoodie where'd they put it on the back oh on the back okay anyways anyway everything's on sale right now because it's new yeah so every everything's cheaper now than it would than it would be um Thirteen dollars for the next two days for for, for a t-shirt. Yes. So if you're if you're psyched about that, go pick one up. We'll we'll bring them back up again later in the stream, also. Um, so that people can, if they aren't here right now, maybe they'll see it later. Any more new plushies in the future? We definitely want to do more plushies. Yes, for Drawfee. Absolutely. We have no current plans, but I guarantee you, we will. We will do them. All right. My joke. I think my joke's ready. You think your joke is ready. Okay. I think my joke's ready. Okay. Or are we on ads? Yes. I think it's ready. Well, so what was the guy? Last time we played, mm -hmm. we met a handsome fella. Yeah. You're talking about uh, Bogart, the, the, the boil prawn man. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Everyone got horny for the prawn man in the last one. Yes. I'm really excited that um, we get to see the prawn man again. Uh, okay. Because he. Um, Here it goes. Get the mic adjusted. Because he. <clears throat> it's on. It's on. Yeah. They can hear you. <clears throat> Clear your throat. Big booby bitches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hold on. Hey, are you pulling up your notes? Did you take yeah. notes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um here's here the it comes. Thing. Uh he was um whew, whew. Yeah, it's it's a little hot in here whew, for sure. Um, okay. Um so uh he you know, we all loved him because he was so tall 
and he was handsome as hell. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'm glad we get to see him, even if it's just in our Elden Streams. Ah, ah. It's a Taylor Swift reference. What? El Wildest Dreams. Did you mean to say dreams? No, Elden Streams. In our Elden, we got to see him in our Elden. You stream. didn't say Elden Dreams. No, because it's the stream. Because you're streaming Elden Ring. I was gonna stand up and clap no matter what you said. <laughs> Clearly, that was wrong. <laughs> but I didn't get it to such a profound degree. <laughs> Wait, that's the easiest one to one I've ever done. Not if I don't know the song, it's not. <laughs> then I can't know. He's so tall and handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. But I don't know the song. I don't know it. I don't know the song. I'm sorry, okay? Chat I can liked see it. the end as it begins. My one condition is. So you were looking at the lyrics. Say you'll remember Prawn Man. I'm going to read Stand the Stand in by the nice fire. <laughs> Elpha said, Julia, a tight five is supposed to be more than one joke. What? <laughs> <laughs> a tight five, like a stand-up set? <laughs> because you took so long to tell it. What What if it's like a tight five attempts at the joke? <laughs> <laughs> then I don't think that's tight. I don't think that's tight. I thought it was pretty tight. Someone's, oh, hey, somebody's hey, oh, mad outside. Oh. Oh, someone's really mad outside. Wow. Oh, no. He wow. said... Damn. I don't know if y'all can hear that. That dude is so mad. Here's the thing. He was like, go fuck yourself. You're pathetic. Yeah. Leave me the fuck alone. Here's the thing. I don't understand having a conversation like that on the phone. Because if it got to that point, I would just hang up on the person. I'd be like, I think I'm done talking to you. This is yeah, I don't, I've never been that mad at someone on the phone. I've never been that mad at someone in general, but I've never been that mad at someone on the phone. If I was that mad, I would be like, I'm going to save this. I'm going to be like, I'm going to hold this in. I'm going to save it. And then when I see them and the next time, I'm going to be incredibly passive aggressive. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of like. Yeah. I'm going to be like, wow, maybe if um, someone actually cared about what I thought. They would, uh, you know, maybe you would have done it differently, but I guess no one here cares about what I think, huh? Here's the thing, though. Guess no one, no one uh, cares about me. Here's the thing. This is New York, so he could have just been ordering a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking pathetic. Do not put pineapple on my fucking pizza. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Asking me if I'm on Hawaiian. Go fuck yourself. I have to read the subs. We have to start playing the game. We have to start doing something in this stream. So I'm going to read the subs now and then we can start doing something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like one fucking pathetic pizza, please. <laughs> we are New Yorkers, so we will say please. Please. Peppers and onions, please go fuck yourself. We got subs from ADM, Six Traffic Cones, Dr. Vinka PhD, Todd from Mario, Elf and Sabu, Lipstick Witch, Katie Cat Magic, Kate Dice, Fine Sunny Day, Mr. Toadmancer, Peachy PG, Shin Shaoshan. Probably butchered that. That's my best attempt. Solo Azume, Glamphomet, Big Sister Logged On, Surely Not Jizz, Surely Not Jizz. The Jin is Mightier, Garlic Bread Yankee Candle, A Snow Pig, Bonjour Mon Abin, Merce Joy, Just Renee, Weak Linked, Emergency Squirrel, Victoria Von Monocle, Uncle, Uncle Hand Cheeks. Uncle has changed. Death Below Deli Meat gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Unlikely Gamer. Crrrrid. Kit Squibbles. Slurragi. Sucra Baroque. Nick P. Knack. Anonymous Gifter gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Cool Nice Evan. Roshki Baboshki. Or Roshki Baboshki. 
Glass for Bats. Mr. Toadmancer gave out five gifted subs. Cepheus, too chonky. Arlana765, The Crow Runner, Torin Underhill. Light Emitting Doe rated us with a party of six viewers. Thank you so much for that. Toasted Toasters, Darth Vader's Vocal Coach, Arcanist, Jeff3PO, CatDad93, GiggleFist, FancyFin99, Amarakius, Chewable Vitamin C, GMA, Squart Cats, Met Droffy. Oh yeah, Squart Cats. You're the one I like. I'm glad you put Met Droffy in your name to remind yeah. me that when I saw you in chat next, I was going to say thank you for the incredibly nice note that you gave us. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I read that the other day. It was so <laughs> sweet. It made me feel very good. I put it in the group of um, nice fan art to show the team when they come over next. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll share it with Nathan and Karina as well. But thank you so much. It was great to meet you at Anime NYC. Yes. Uh, Pierce FC9, Maximum Cowboy, to chess, Bumblebee, South Shore Bob, Jiggy MV, Bunny Pirates, Biscuit Tornado, Huff My Farts, Marbles Roll, Lizzie Ray, Twixted Spoon gave out five gifted subs. Shiblings, Producers Fan Club, Sid Libbing, Drew Ski Ski Ski, Paperverse, Candy Bat, Alex the Opossum, Today is Football, Ari Anum, 21 Potential Bassoon Players, Yum Berry, PLP 12, Mimsy 1992, Chimimel, Cluster Funks, Illithid, Dino Bolt, Cosmoasis, A Static Wash, Skatey 13, Kuvira, Zav, The Bird King B, and Woozy Fetus. Thank you so much. Squire Cats are currently in the ER. Oh no. What happened? I am so sorry to we hear that. We just saw you. We just saw you. Uh, I hope that you're that you're okay. Uh, Skatey asked anybody know what Deep Blue Ink animation they used for the live show last weekend. So it wasn't for that one. Because um, Deep Blue Ink tweeted that we had sent the Jacob Horse to him oh, as yeah. thank you. Yeah. It was for the Seattle live shows. Yes. We used some of Deep Blue Ink's animations in our like intro video before we came out. And he kindly agreed to let us use them. And in exchange, we we sent him some merchandise. Moich. My brother's texting me because uh, apparently getting me a smaller knife was his idea because he said I most likely wasn't going to be doing anything with an animal with it. So he just thought a smaller knife would be better. So now I'm glad that the knife is now a family project. The whole family got a hand on this knife. Yep. Also, I told him about the dude who's yelling on the phone. I'm glad we can bring the New York experience to people. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. a little, it's a big apple, baby. Big apple, baby. Uh, Jacob, you'll be summoning today, I'm assuming. I will be summoning today, yes. If you want to get in on this Elden Ring action, the password is Yammers. The password capital is Yammers y. with a capital Y. Um, let me switch to the game, the video game. I also sure texted my brother about the, going. about the person. <laughs> um, what am I? What am I doing? Who what am are I? You doing? Is it is it lagging? Is the game kind of on Streamlabs looking a little? It is hitching a little bit. A little choppy. It looks like it's. Why is it looking so choppy? What in the fuck, man? I'm literally going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose my shit and freak out and go crazy. It's definitely like framey, right? Yeah, it's definitely framey. Do we think it, it's... It wasn't like this before, right? No. Last time we played, it wasn't like this. Um, let's try to switch to full screen mode. Everything is lagging again. Let's see if switching to full screen mode helps. That seems better. Is that looking better? I mean, my hand is moving better on, on Steam Labs. I think this is better. Yeah. You know what really gets me? You know what really grinds my gears? What's the deal? <laughs> when something works perfectly, uh -huh. and then a week later, you do the same thing, having changed nothing, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work anymore. But here's the thing. You may have not changed anything, but Microsoft? 
Streamlabs probably updated. Windows Streamlabs. probably updated. Good lord, it makes me so angry. Yeah. Streamlabs might be funky. One of my friends was having issues with their stream earlier today. Could be. Great. Could be. Okay. I'm, you know, freaking 17 minutes into this stream. I'm ready to start playing the game. 17 minutes into the second stream. 17 mean. minutes into the second stream. So last thing we did last time was get the uh, Shabriri grape. Yes. From the Revenger. It was the second one, right? Excuse me. I got burps. Yeah, it was the second one. Okay. Um, I just wanted to, to check this. I, did, I forgot everything was going to go bad. You forgot everything was going to go bad. It was determined the fates warned you. So I think the first place we're going to summon, we're going we're gonna to go back to the starting area soon to do the boss fight there. I don't know if you can summon for that boss fight or not, but I'll try to. Um, so it'd be like at the Chapel of Anticipation outside the boss room. But then after that, we're going to be doing probably the Black Knife Catacombs will be the next place after that. Just so you know. Um, okay, let me remember what the hell I'm doing at any given moment. So as you'll recall... We need a glintstone key to get into Rhea Lucaria eventually. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be our next thing we do is get the glintstone key. I am going to make it morning so it's easier to see. Thank you. Yeah, this the Scion guy. Um, what are we going to do about ads? Well, the ads are going to run around 30 minutes. Okay. And when they are about to run, we'll stop playing and run the ads. Cool. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. But we can get some stuff done until then. Yeah. Oh, man. Jacob's having uh, a day. I was already having one of those days. You ever have one of those days? Oh, the dragon is also guarding the glintstone key, but we're just going to... Sidestep them. We're just gonna get it and um, sort of go on our way. We'll take this. Gotta go! Don't gotta fight no dragon. I ain't fighting no dragon, you kidding me? And now we're headed up there to the four belfries. Ooh! You ever have one of those days? Where you just, you don't have as much patience as, as you do all usually and you feel a little frustrated all day. And everything that happens seems to just be like an inconvenience. And you're just like, every little thing really gets to you. I have those days. That's the kind of day I was having today. I was frustrated about everything today. Yeah. It happens. But thankfully, streaming makes me feel better, typically. Are you sure about that? Well, it's I don't feel as frustrated when things go wrong because I know that it's like part of the fun, too. That's true. It's like part of the product <laughs> that we're offering here. This bless this mess energy. Yeah. There's a ghost giant. We're not worried about him, though. We're not worried about him. We're worried about these belfries. Someone said the frames went, but I think they're back. Yeah, it's back to normal. We're okay. It's all good. I'm gonna have to check my settings. I had changed the settings so it, it would avoid that, but I wonder if they got like changed back somehow to like what they were. Maybe something got updated and then put it back to default. Like with my Overwatch sometimes. Cause again, I'm not seeing any framiness on my end. It is uh, something to do with Streamlabs. And like I had set, I had changed the um, the refresh rate of my upper monitor to be 120 because my lower monitor is 60, that's as high as it goes. And supposedly if they're uh, multiples of each other, mm -hmm. then it won't cause a problem. 
When I had my upper monitor on 144 and my lower on 60, it caused issues. Uh, but once I switched to 120, it fixed the issues. And now it seems to be having the issues again. So I wonder if maybe when I updated my NVIDIA or something, maybe it changed my settings. I believe this is the one, Precipice of Anticipation. So these are cool. They all like warp you to like somewhere else. Ooh. Also a very nice view there of Rhea Lucaria. Yeah. And you can get, you can see some like really late game areas and it's really fun to check them out, but we only have the one key right now, so. Jacob, I'll help you set up OBS Studio. You could even stream in HDR. We'll have to look at that, Kaz, because if this is an issue with Streamlabs and I just need to switch to OBS, then maybe I should do that. It's worth a try, that's for sure. At this point, yeah. We got to get the freaking Stormhawk King. You're so right. You're so, it's so true, bestie. Can't summon in the chapel area. <laughs> that does sound like a, like there'd be a sign on your local church. Yeah. No summoning in the chapel area. All right, well, we'll just, we'll just mess this guy up solo then. Go through the P-wall. We'll, we'll fly solo on this one. I believe in you. We're going to do a little drinky. We're going to do a little flame grant me strength. And uh, let's freaking go. I'm not scared of you, man, okay? We're back, jerk. Okay, I'm a little scared of you sometimes. What are you screaming about? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, stabby time. Bazinga. You shouldn't have <laughs> let me live, you jerk. Toast him. Toast him. Wow, that was... A little, a you, little listen, quick. You don't want to get stabbed by Geraldine Slay. That's the damn truth, all right? The stab, the stab hurt. The stab hurts so bad. <laughs> that was vile. <laughs> a, a brutal killing. Mm -hmm. um, but we're here for some specific reasons. This beginning area reminds me of uh, Bloodborne in some ways. I guess because it's like a darker gray. Yeah, I could see that. So we got to go up. And we got to go around here. And we got to go up here and we find the Stormhawk King, Ooh. which is necessary for Nefeli's quest line eventually. And then we come over here and we get the Stormhawk Dean, who's different than the Stormhawk King. Yeah, this one's a you, Dean. You got your Dean and you got your King. And we hop on down and guess who this is? Dana Terrace. The creator of Owl House? Yeah. No, it's a maiden who's, I can dye my cloth with her blood. And Damn. I can get the Lord of Blood's favor, you know? Which is pretty neat. If I do say so myself. All right. She super dead. Now we got to get back to... The Rose Julie, Church. What? To be fair, I didn't realize she was dead before I said her name. I closed my eyes basically <laughs> immediately. <laughs> this is not Dana Terrace in any capacity, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me. I mean, it, what, it be, it'd be crazy if it was. You know? Yeah. Who would see that coming? It's like um, in high school, my... Uh, world history teacher who was very sweet. Her bar was so low. She said, who was a key figure in the American Revolution? And a girl said, Joan of Arc. And she said, well, she was a key figure of 
French history. <laughs> so pretty close. And I feel like that's what chat just did for me. Yeah. Like, very good, Julia. That is a person. That is a name. You wow. did say a name. You said a correct name. So that is something. Now that we have the uh, Maiden's Blood, which is a totally normal mm -hmm. thing to get, mm -hmm. we can uh, <laughs> just do some rock stunts here. Here we go. A slow fall. Oh, this little freak. Go see this freak again. Ah, my lambkin. <laughs> You've completed your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. I don't want to. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Luminary Moog. That's gonna, the only way to say that name. Luminary Moog. I'm going to go ahead and offer finger. Why, though? What's he going to do to it? It can't be anything bad. A little bit of finger fun. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. Thank you. Thank you, I guess. Never forget that feeling of agony. For it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. He nasty. Can you kill him yet? Oh, another thing. You should have this. Got me a pure blood knight's medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Dynasty? Dynasty. Dynasty? Ah, Duck Dynasty. Trying. But we must be patient. One day you will be elevated, deservedly, basking in love. Right, my lambkin? <laughs> so true, bestie. Ah, one all right, day that's all he's got to say. <laughs> um, we're about to get some ads. So we're going to take a pause here. And we're gonna be running ads here in um, 15 seconds. I feel like had this stream gone normally, mm -hmm. we would have got a decent amount of gameplay in before the ads. Yeah. But nothing. Why would it? Why would it do that? Instead, we were like restarting the computer. Yeah. Why would it go normally? Okay, ads starting soon. Everybody, cross your fingers. Whatever fingers you got left. Everybody, chop off your fingers for good luck. Are you ready to hear my worst take yet? Your worst take yet? Yeah, and I don't even know if I agree with myself. <laughs> okay, that's how, that's how bad it is? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Why the British gotta be messing up every language including their own? Dynasty? Well, I mean... Dynasty? Who's to say that's not... It's not dinner. <laughs> it's, not, it's not dinner. Who's to say that's not how it was before? We we said dynasty. Then what's the point of having an I if you're just going to pronounce the Y as an I? Well, in English, we do we do any letter any way we want. Yes, that's the British fault. That's the British fault. That's <laughs> what the British did to us. We, we've carried on in that tradition and we just do every letters, whatever you want. It's, I don't understand how anybody learns this language. No. It's a disaster language. 
England's like, we so don't know how to pronounce anything in English. Oh, the ad started. Wow. That every town has a new, very different accent. And it's about five miles away from each other. <laughs> That's how much we cannot agree on how anything is pronounced in the English language. Rude dude said, you guys have a fucking state called Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the British fault. That's the, Br that's the British fault again. It's again. If it's if you have a problem with something in America, it's the British fault. We're carrying on the sins of our fathers. Our father being Papa England. That's how we. That's why we pronounce Versailles for sales in Texas because we do not respect the French or anyone else. Listen, all languages are just other languages that have been ruined. That's the history of everything. No language was ever, there was never a good language. They're all just ever changing versions of different things. I feel like the only true and good system of anything is that counting system that I think the Byzantines had. Or was it the Vikings? I don't remember. Where it's basically like the baseline is one line and then like you you count by like where where the little symbol is. It, did you see that? So you what can are you count, talking about? So you can count like every number on one line. In what? In what language? What are you talking about? <laughs> the freaking the 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 line counting system where it's all one what's line? the line counting system hold on i don't know what the line counting system is i don't know anything about this you're you're speaking about you're you're speaking in some like 2000 and late i'm so 2008 and you're so 2000 and late right now yeah, we still got 40 seconds more of ads. By then, maybe I'll remember what language used at the thing that I'm talking about. Mikari Silver said, hello, guys. Thank you for saving my sanity tonight. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Are you sure? I feel like my sanity is not sure? being saved tonight. I went on a rant about how England's ruined all languages somehow. I think um, we're all taking psychic damage tonight. No one's sanity is improving on this one. Where are we summoning next? I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Black Knife Catacombs. As I recall. I don't want to click away from Elden Ring because it will it will make everything go go bazinga. Mm -hmm. The ads are done. Go. I'm, I will find this thing that I'm talking about. It's time for us to go and visit a new friend. Wouldn't you like to visit a new friend? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't it be nice? First, we have to ride past the red jellyfish. Another sad woman. Not this time, baby. This time it's a... A sort of neutral giant. Oh, I found it. I want that item. Can I have this? Blood grease. I know. What is blood grease? Hello, campers. I'll be taking your this. And I will be leaving. I don't want any part of whatever you're whatever you're up to over here. Whatever nasty stuff you're transporting. <laughs> yeah, that's right, huge man. Sad woman? No, huge man. We just gotta ride north a bit. We can look up there at the cool mountains. 
in the cool castles on the mountains. Grace! I found the numbers. It's Cistercian numerals. It was invented in the 13th century. Cistercian numerals is my least favorite Game of Thrones character. <laughs> but basically you can count from one to 9,999 on a single line. Why do I need to do that? It's just faster. Hey, Julia, look. What? Oh my God. I would have found that. Hidden wall. I would have found that. This is who we're here to visit. Yourself? Oh, the big boy. D did you miss the big boy? I was talking about this guy last time. <laughs> did you miss the huge man? Huge man. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G., a blacksmith who once served the Carian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. E.G., I don't want to be the one to contradict you, but your hammer appears to be made entirely of stone. So I don't know how it would get rusty. Maybe he means metaphor. There's like barnacles on it or something. Do you think that E.G. made that helmet out of little like compact uh, makeup mirrors? Yeah. Is the reason that you're so frustrated today because of me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him to please take care. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Where's he get a book that big? Probably another giant wrote it. Giant, you think giants can't write books? Is that like a section at, what's it called? Big and, big and tall? <laughs> big and tall. Brave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. It's right there. When the Rhea Lucaria can be turned <laughs> from the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard. But their strength had not waned, and they repelled the knight's onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. Cuckoo? I have a question. Yeah. More question. Yeah. This boy. Yeah. He's clearly one of the boys that... Like, or the kind of boys that drag the big carriages. Yeah. Why is he, like, still of relative sound mind and can speak? Maybe it's because of his hat. The tinfoil hat. Works. It's because of his hat. It kept out the psychic energies. No, I feel like there are reasons. There is, you find out more about him as you go. Mm. But first, let's tell him that Blythe sent us. Because Blythe told us to come here a long time ago. Blythe. Blythe actually did that. Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. It's a kick in the ass. So if you tell him that Blythe sent you, he starts selling this for you. The carrion filigreed crest. Looks like a turtle shell. Kind of does. Right? It's not a bit. It kind of does. The chain. 
about advice. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the Royal Carrion Manor. Whatever you do, brave tarnished, stay away from that death trap. We're gonna go. I've explained okay. the engine. Whatever you We're gonna go right to that death trap that he told us to stay away from. But we're not doing the carrion manor just yet. We're just gonna go get the grace. And we're going to avoid that. That's the death trap he referred to. And it is a pretty good death trap. All things considered. I would have gotten got by that. Not I. Yoink. Oh. My horse got a little got a little obliterated there. His voice is super nice. If you don't die, is it a good death trap? That's a good point. It's a an annoyance trap, inconvenience trap. You can see um, in the distance. Well, now I don't see it. Oh, you can kind of see it. The little hand crawling around. My soundproofing behind my monitor is falling down and occasionally it shifts a little bit. Oh, you can see the one up there on the wall. These are the worst enemies in the game. They're so horrific. Yeah. I think the worst <clears throat> enemies of the game are the little spinny cage dudes. They suck. Um, but we're not we're not going there yet. The spinning cage dudes do suck, but these are the most horrifying. Oh, yeah. The hand spiders. Yeah. I like how many games have hand spiders. You would think the number would be not many. I'm riding away. You don't have to death trap me. I'm riding away. I'm leaving. Did you ever... I don't think this is like a thing anymore, but it was like a thing in the 90s. Did you ever encounter one of those cars where when you got close to it, it would say, step away from the vehicle. You are too close to the vehicle. Yeah, I do remember that. Remember I got jump scared going to a like comp USA or something. Did you step away from the vehicle? I did. It did send me into like fight or flight though. Yeah. All right, we are going to the Bellum Church. Do I remember how to get to the Bellum Church? Surely I must. I want to say it's up here. Hello. Hello. Hello, Moichent. Oh, it's right here. You did it. Of course I remember how to get to the Bellum Church. Come on. Who wouldn't know the Bellum Church? I love the T-posing. Very good. Yeah, the T-posing is good. What's that secret tear doing out here? Jacob, did you skip Dark Souls 2 entirely? If you played it, how far did you get before you decided it wasn't for you? Um, I got nearly to the end of Dark Souls 2. Well, I, I beat Dark Souls 2, the main game, but I didn't play the DLCs. Hello, Olive. Oh, your face on the mic. All right, now we got a ride over here. We have another grace to pick up over here at the Grand Lift, which is another very cool visual. I love that it's receded into the mountain. And there's lots of enemies over here that we don't want to fight. Hi. There's a town near where my grandma lives that is a fortress built into the side of a mountain cliff. And it's this like very beautiful medieval town that has a river running through it as well. That's really cool. Yeah. Next time we go, I'll, I'll bring you. I love stuff like that. I can't remember what it's called right now. Hold on. Give me this. Let's see, I believe the, yeah, the grace is right over here. We'll be worrying about this lift later, but look how cool it is. With the, the lighting is. The sweet. lighting is great. The roots coming down. Mm-hmm. Love it.
<clears throat> Lovesick, we will be doing the ruined precipice. So don't you worry about that. But right now we have to go to the Eye of Sauron. Is it brought home? Which is down this away. I think it's actually up there. Oh, Julie, you ready for the Eye of Sauron? Because I don't think you saw this last time. What the hell? You weren't kidding. Nope, it's like basically actually the Eye of Sauron. And you have to like hide from it <clears throat> as you approach. I'm not hiding from it very well. <laughs> ah! That's unfortunate. I'm fine. I'm all good. Are you still looking for the name of the town? Yeah, I think it's Brontom. Yeah. Brontom. It's a beautiful town. You got it. You got this. I fell in a little hole. Ooh, there was a body there. What do you... I wonder where the eye is. We want to get up in there. It's a bit of a rat situation. Uh, another lore <laughs> question. Yeah. Is this eye connected to the to the frenzied flame? Yes. Okay. It is that's a it is a madness, madness eye. Okay. Whenever you see the yellow fire, that's that's madness. That's madness for you. That's madness for you. Get me a piece of this item, little howl of shabriri. Why not? So we're gonna wait for it to go off one more time. There's dudes up here that are summoning it. Um. And we have to... Uh, make them all dead. And that's all they were focusing on? They weren't moving, they weren't doing anything. Yeah, they're, they're, just, the they're just summoning a big psycho eye. That's very cool. That's their whole, their whole shit. And now it won't come back. All right. Not that we're going to be here again. Go down the ladder, Geraldine. I don't have time for this, okay? Slacifer. What? I kind of remember what her name was earlier, and I, my brain wouldn't get off the... The name. My brain wouldn't get off the name Slacifer. Slacifer is not a name. To be fair, neither is Geraldine Slay. Well, Geraldine is a name. Yeah. And Slay is a word. It's kind of like a, a roller derby name. It is. It really is a roller derby name. So there's like a little madness castle over here. Where everyone's a little bit... Ah, Frenzied Flame Village. A little bit bazongos. I want that! Hey! Thank you, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Shabriri's whoa. Then we climb up here. I like that they were all frenzied, but they're still, like, living in the village. They seem to have some sort of village order going on. Yeah, they all kind of just stand... Yeah. In their spots in the village, holding on to their faces. Seems all right. Oh, that's right. There's an invader over here. I remember who it is. 
Who wants to invade me? Fingerprint Vike. That's right. You gotta go, bud. Whoa! Incredible attack! This dude's this dude's cracked. What oh, in the shit. world was that? So that's like a frenzied flame move. Yes. Boo, don't heal. I am Falcon with the Dingle. You can't say things like that while I'm in the middle of combat. Well, you know what I'm talking about. The little symbol that pops up whenever you use the talisman looks like a Millennium Falcon with I a I got something middle. for you. Ow. Oh, he has a little bit of this. You. It's kind of like a secret Santa. A little bit of this. Whoa! A little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. He has the fingerprint grape, which is going to be crucial to our mission mm. of giving a bunch of grapes to that one woman who eats up grapes. So you're not <clears throat> supposed to... I mean, I, I know this, but like... The Shabriri grapes have to be connected to the Shabriri's what? Yeah. Shabriri is sort of like the madness entity. And so you can't put the grapes in the eye holes of the Shabriri what? No, Shabriri's what is just an item that you use. A fillet. We got the finger maiden fillet. Bunch of finger maiden outfits. A little sacred tear action. Okay, so after this, we're going to the Black Knife Catacombs. So meet me there if you want to get summoned. Meet me there if you want to get summoned. If you think you've got what it takes to get summoned. You've been to a catacombs. I have. In, in the France. Maybe that's what gave you COVID. <laughs> I believe they're like over here-ish. <laughs> the catacombs gave me COVID. Yeah. The skeletons had it. Skeletons weren't masked up. That's true. They certainly weren't vaxxed. That's definitely true. Were there any imps in the catacombs in France? No, but I was ready. <laughs> At every corner I went around. Just in case. Ready for this stunt? Look at this. Boom. Whoa. Cool stunt. Boom. Yeah, I'm stunting a little bit. Wow. Can you look up a little bit? There's grace over here. Can we look at this? Yeah, I just like, well, the tall tower that's like right in front of you is very cool. Oh, yeah. And then the tree. Yeah. And the giant moon. I feel like it just gets bigger and bigger. Three days remained. So somewhere over here you can drop down on these. A lot of, je a lot of jellies down here. Oh, that's right. There's like a little asshole over here. You want to freaking go, dude? I'm about to grant my ass strength. Is he headless? Yeah. What do you think about that? It's like, ah! I was just thinking. Rip. Damn. Ripperoonies. As a horse person, I want to let everyone know that all these pony physics are 100% accurate. Yeah. They studied real horses. They made them jump off of buildings, jump off of cliffs, uh -huh. double jump in the air. Yeah. 
to know exactly how they work. And they realize that horses, very strong or very fragile, depending on... Yeah, depending on mere inches Yeah, mere difference. inches. They got it exact. <clears throat> All right, we're going to summon up right here. Summon up. Hello. I love that. Rosetta. Oh, someone at Anime NYC, thank you, by the way, to everyone who came to see us and say very, very nice things to us. We appreciate it. Yeah, we had a wonderful time. I'm sorry if I was in a frenzy. Uh, it was kind of the energy. Were you the frenzied flame? I think I was. Um, but someone was cosplaying as what's her face with the curved hat. Oh yeah, we saw a um, Renala. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you've got the wing of Astel. That was my the weapon that I used my first playthrough as my main. Looks and like then we play got that Irish sport. The soup bandit. Hopefully, we'll find some soup in here for you, brother. Is it cribbage? What sport am I thinking of? You're thinking of um, corn smack? Squash? Squash? Not thinking about squash. You're thinking of cricket? No, I'm not thinking about cricket. You're thinking of lacrosse? Not hurling. Is it just hurling? It looks like a hurling stick. Let's go! All right, gamers. Into the abyss. So these, game. these are the catacombs where we have to go and find the necromancers who summon the skellies. And also there's a secret exit to this one that we have to do. So I'm running straight on ahead because I know that the necromancer is right over here. And if you kill him, then all the skeletons will die. And then we're actually going to be riding up on this blade. Like a pair of baby sharks. Come with me, friends. Rising up. Ah! <laughs> ah, what the hell? I'm outside the radius of the cannons. You asshole. I was waiting for my friends. Oh no! Rosetta! We've lost Rosetta. Rosetta, no! Oh no, your body has <laughs> been, been chopped up and down. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, Looks I like that. it's uh, me and you, soup bandit. Yeah, that room's very good. Ouch. We'll just take that one. Straight to the neck. There we go. It's right in my face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a pretty rough one. Oh, we both took a rough one, huh, bud? <laughs> you like our new piercings? Those skeletons are so tall. Do you think they're Dutch? Another hidden wall for you there. Beautiful. Do you think they're Dutch? <laughs> All right, let's, let's go in. Let's get this done. Oh, AKA Rosetta says, sorry, lol, thanks for summoning me anyway. It's all good, I just, we feel bad that your time was cut short. Rip. I got more stabs for you where that came from, if you want them. <laughs> We're both doing the same move. <laughs> Unfair. Yeah. We're cheating. A skeleton's name was Jurgen. Oh, there hello. He is. Hello, Jurgen. We get the Assassin Cerulean Dagger and the Black Knife Print. Thank you for your help. I think that skeleton's gonna run in here. Yeah. I better get, get ready up. for Jurgen. He's here! You're in trouble. Bad news. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Thank you for the good jokes. 
Am I switching daggers? Not yet. I will be adding another dagger to my repertoire, but not until the Altus Plateau. Jurgen saw you beat the boss and still came in. <laughs> he had confidence. He was like, you know, he probably got worn down. Hello. To be fair, how many people do they see? You know, probably yes. just got really excited. That's true. The beast eye quivers. Shout out to my wife when we watch this VOD later. That's cute. Oh, that is Beard cute. Mask. Shout out to Beard Mask's wife. Later, Not you, later Beard on Mask, the VOD. But your wife. Not you, Beard Mask, your wife. What have you ever done for anyone? <laughs> <laughs> the confidence of the Dutch. Let's get a little bit more Vigor. Beard Mask says, I'm trash. She's great. I'm sure you're fine or whatever. I'm sure you're fine. I have good news for everyone. And it's that we're about to go and meet the best character in the game. So I hope you're all ready. Prepare yourselves accordingly to get ready like a drink or a towel if you think you're going to get like sweaty. I know who my favorite character is. Well, this is it's not like a matter of like favorite. It's a matter of best. And okay. this character is the best. Okay. Excited to see who this is. Though I think I know. Oh, I'm sure you know. We got a good double cat stack going on, Jacob. Double cat stack. Got a double cat stack. Hello, bear. I'll mind my business if you mind yours. Old palace ruins. Palace is kind of old. Palace. What's palace? Palace. Don't you have any new pal palaces? <laughs> this is an old palace. Ugh. I want a Ugh. new palace. I want a new palace. Hello. This palace is pretty good. No, it's not. That's not. I need a new palace. I always get lost in this area. <sighs> I always get lost in Geraldine's eyes. You're not the only one. In that, I often look at them and go, what's happening? With what's them? going on with those? What is that? Hello, bear. Are they open? Is that heavy makeup? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Got some little fire friends. Don't really want to anger them. Because mm -mm. they scare me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Get ready, everybody. Brace yourselves. Okay, I'm ready. My eyes are open. <gasps> Yay! Turtle Pope, you sleeping, bud? Turtle Pope. Wake the fuck up, Turtle Pope! You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. Yeah, you are. My apologies Where's for courage? the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. Tell me. It's the only option. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. That's cool. Do oh, I? Was there something you needed? Sorry. You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. Oh. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. 
Can you can you turn the camera just a little bit? Do I draw Kermits as Popats? Yes. The Popat is exactly how you draw Kermit. We're frogs in general. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all I want to say. All right, so Muriel can teach you both sorceries and incantations. Sword and shield. And if you give him a scroll, he says the, the absolute most badass line in the game. Mm -hmm. So we'll give him the academy scroll so you can hear it. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. Mm. All things can be conjoined. Fucking tell him, bro. I love Remember that. when I gave that scroll to that other guy and Some he was metal. like, this is dirty, filthy magic. Yeah. Ew, nasty, heretical magic. And this guy's like, bro, heresy's made up, dude. If you think about it, everything's made up. <laughs> Turtle Pope's out here smoking, smoking a good one. And just <laughs> yeah. Being like, what's, what's real? What's even good, bad? It's is, all the same, man. It's good and bad. Really it's all just decisions. You know good, what I'm saying? Good can be bad and bad could be good depending on the the viewer. Bro. Turtle Pope would say trans rights. Turtle Pope would say trans rights. Yeah. Turtle Pope he would be care. like, what is trans? What is cis? They're all just humans. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's the difference? We're all just creatures trying to do our best in this. All things can be conjoined. World. Tell me more about Radigan. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and king consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. We'll find out the answer to that mystery as the game goes on. And it's not what you think it is. Tell me about Renala. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful Full Moon Witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. This guy could call me Lambkin, and you would be <clears throat> the only one allowed to do so. Well, I'd be like, yeah, man, I'm absolutely your Lambkin. Yeah. Got any more to say about Radigan? The sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it said the great statue harbors his secret too. The great statue of Radigan harbors his secret. Keep that in mind. Tell me more about Renala. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone. Cradling the amber egg, Lord Radigan bequeathed. That's how I'm gonna go. Yeah. Now she devotes Alone with herself amber to egg. it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. Tell me one more thing about Radigan, please. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the Yeah, we got that. We got that. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, best friend. Thank you, bestie. And he's a chaste. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay. 
it was time. Yeah. It was I'm time for survived this long. for the game to do the the blackout. So I won't be able to read chat for a bit. So chat, whatever you got to say about me, do it now while I can't read. Turtle poke into my heart. And we get the gold sewing needle and the golden tailoring tools from here, which Bach will enjoy. Sure will. Little, little Taylor bud, little buddy. Chat's doing a lot of dot, dot, dots. Thank you, someone, chat. Someone, and I won't name who, said pee pee poo poo. But don't say things like that. Don't. In the chat. Wow, people are saying some really nasty things about you in chat. No, they wouldn't. Okay, we're going back to round table hold. I really like this highlighted message that it said, Jacob is so nice and also cute. Thank you. Wow. Why would you say that when I can't see it? That's something you say when I can see it. Wow, so many pee pee poo poos. I feel like um, my new thing I do now is when the chat freezes, I have to say what the last message I can read is. In this case, it is from Maximum Cowboy who said, if you don't leave the world hugging an egg, did you even live? Yearbook quote. And that's a good that's question. That's gonna be my yearbook quote. Yeah. Uh, but we gotta go back and talk to Rajir. Joy, Joy's- Hi, Joy. Hi, sweetie. Rajir, who's not doing so hot these days. There you go. Joy, hello. <laughs> Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Because you remember Rajir wanted to know about the black, the Knight of Black Knives. That's like his whole thing. He's like, yeah. when death was, uh, the rune of death was stolen. So we found this black knife print. We're going to show it to him now. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City, a group entirely of women arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. My body. I'm certain it will help me see. Which half? I can't tell which half it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have uh, something's... Uh, I can't. I can't... Which... I can't tell. It all looks... Fine to you me. Look you look better than great. ever. Why is Joy staring at you? Joy's just sitting here. We just this. Oh. <laughs> this creature right here. This creature right here. This little crater. Hi, buddy. Hello. You gonna sit right here in front of my face? Rub in your face, Rub in on, your the face on the microphone. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to sniff the microphone? <laughs> you're going to do your nasty breathing <laughs> right into the mic? See, but she sounds better at nights than she does in the mornings. And I think it's a humidifier. Yeah, I think so too. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, <clears throat> hi buddy. Hi buddy. So now we have to, whenever anyone in the game tells you like, hey, give me, you know, like a week to research this. Yeah. You just reload the game and they're like, I'm done. I've researched it. Should we do ads now while Joy's being a menace or just let them play when they play? Joy doesn't like that noise. I don't like it either, Joy. Let me get back in and then we'll run ads. Okay. Hi, Joy. All right, we're gonna run our, our second ad break now. Ideally, in an yep. ideal world. Oh, it's here. 
Um, starting right now. Hopefully. Ads are working. All right. Yay. Look at that. Hi, Joy Cat. Olive is over here, too. Hello, Joy. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nasty little cat. Oh, yeah. You get to watch the cat get pet. This is the reward <laughs> for not seeing ads. You get to watch the cat get pet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that face. <laughs> Joy, in the morning, you hear her wheezing up to the door. <laughs> And it's because the apartment is, oh, the humidifier's out. It's because the apartment gets so dry with the heat that uh, it dries us all out. Yeah. It does not do great for us. Uh, if you missed it earlier, there's new shirts in the merch store. Yeah, there are. I should show those, huh? If you want. We just do I'm gonna break everything. this and we do this. We got two new shirts. One of them is the Two Chairs, Two Beers, Secret Sleepover Society Observation Department shirt. If you too want to be an expert observer, if you want to be on observation duty. And then we got uh, Jukum Justin. There he is. With the rabbit that you juke. The dang old rabbit that you juke. Also, I think this is unrelated to the merch, but, and I haven't talked to Jacob about this yet, um, but Rebecca Roney in chat wrote that they started uh, Kentucky Route Zero, and they're loving it, and it has Big Julia vibes. And I never want to stream it. I mean, I know that I have, but I feel weird streaming it sometimes because it's it doesn't get a lot of views. And again, we have to, you know, we pay CAS, so I feel weird about it. Um, but I was wondering if we should do like our, our favorite games, like holiday, like December holiday thing. We could do that. Maybe. And I was thinking maybe I could, I could do a little Kentucky route. I definitely want to do some bonus streams yeah. in December. Yeah. So that would be a good time to do it. Yeah. I think. If we wanted to. Yeah. I don't know if you want to play through like all of them. All the Kentucky route? Right? Because that would take a while. But That would take a while. Yeah, I don't know. If we did some longer streams, we could probably do it. Kentucky route's just a hard game to stream, uh, I think, for a viewer. Because you're either into it or you're really not. You're either super into it or you're super not into it. But if it's bonus streams, then... That's true. Doesn't matter. It's all extra, right? Yeah. My favorite game in the world. Ads are over. Let's see what Roger thought of what we gave him. Ah, oh, hello. I was hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back with my thanks. Thank you. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the ride upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Luna Princess Ronnie, one of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala, demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I know who performed the imprint. It was Jacob on Renesme. Oh my God. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a big moment where you find out Ronnie was the one behind it, behind the Knight of Black Knives. Don't you care about the Knight of Black Knives? <laughs> Where, where's Ronnie? Tell me where Ronnie is. I have some idea of Ronnie's potential whereabouts. 
There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Carian royals, from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manor in which she was born. Why do you want a curse mark? Look at you. Look at you. Do you really need a curse do mark? Do you really think you need a curse mark? You look like a wrapped up McDonald's hamburger. Do you know of those who live in death? Yeah. The very notion of life in death defies the golden order. Mm. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. By you may find nuts. this peculiar, but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life. Only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the order. So what about D? Tell me about what D's going on. Yes, indeed. If D knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. Anything else to say about Rani's whereabouts? If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of death. Would you be willing to procure? Yeah, she we got that. To the royal we got that. Carrion Manor, we got it. We got to see what Fia thinks about this. Fia. Fia, I just talked to Rajir. You won't believe what he said. Can you hug me a bit? Just a little bit. I just noticed that someone has resubscribed and they've been subscribed for 40 months, which seems wild. To 40 me. months. Thank That's crazy. That. How is that even possible? I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Yes, please. Now, come closer. Yes, please. Give me a little hold, please. You are so very warm. I know, I light things on fire. But let's talk about Rajir, please. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him. Despite his grievous wounds, you truly are a champion. To dear Roger, and myself, too. Thank you for the twig. Then good day to you, my dear. All right, so next place we're headed to is Caria Manor. So I will be summoning at the Caria Manor Site of Grace. Meet me at the Caria Manor site of grace. <laughs> right now. Right now. Right now. Your bed's a little stiff there. Uh, we gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go right now, actually. You broke the lady's side table. I just heard that I have to go to the Caria Manor site of grace right now. Okay. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Well, why are we still? That looks like oh Whoa. Chip wish well. <laughs> wow. I wish you well, Chip wish well. We are about to have to encounter a lot of very nasty hands. Hands, 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 hands. Hands, hands. Oh, look at you. Throwing hands, whoa. Big old legs and a face of an imp. Oh, that. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Who are you? It's a wizard, a sword wizard. I have to get ready to do the ceremonial greeting. For Chip Wishwell. A 
Let's go! Oh my god, he's got hammers. He's going crazy, this guy. Yeah! There we go. Hey, that hammer. Is that that what like. The fuck? Is that yes. Sleepy Steve? Sonic <laughs> Ball! <Bowl. laughs> All right. All right, come on. All right. Come on, Sonic Ball. Chip Wishwell's. Oh my god, they're crystals. Hold on, I can do that too. Chip Wishwell's weapon is that that um that teardrop thing that's like unbreakable unless you touch the tip of it. Sorry, sorry, Sonic Butthole. No one's here. No one's here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bad news. No one is here. Sonic Butthole just showed you. No, <laughs> put that booty away. <laughs> Oh, oh, you've become a little rock. You've become a little... <laughs> oh my god, the gloves are very funny. Okay, greet, greet him properly. Mind your manners. Oh my god, he's doing the sonic roll. <laughs> Incredible. <clears throat> oh, oh, he's so fast. Holy oh my shit! God. He's Sonic! And Knuckles! Wow. Alright, let's do it, gamers. Sonkles. He's Sonkles. And Nark Narkles. Big hand alert! Big hand, low frame rate. <laughs> How am I gonna miss twice? Chip wish well, be careful. They don't like fire, by the way. Chip! Get out of there, Chip! Chip, get out of Chip! there! Chip! We've lost Chip. We have to summon someone else. The hands threw hands too well at Chip. Oh, Chip. It R. wasn't R. supposed Chip. to go down like this. We gotta get someone else. All right, Sonic, you keep that up. I'm gonna go grab someone else. I'm gonna grab um, Anita Puma Pants. <laughs> oh, unable to summon. Sorry, Anita Puma Pants. I'm gonna get Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Why? I don't know why. I can't imagine what is being censored here. But we're going to summon this person. What two letters would be censored? I mean, they censored the H-O in, in whole. Is it like I-T to make it not be tit? I have no idea. Hello, Ava. It censors ho in all positions. Ah, ah thorn. thorn. Ava Thorn, of course. It wasn't Sonic. You doing okay over here? It wasn't Titurn. A somber smithing stone. Sonic, you got yourself in trouble over here. Big hand coming. Don't worry, he's too fast. The hands can't catch him. Damn, Sonic's too powerful. Sonic's too good. I'll, I'll take my stones, thank you. Thank you very much. I will take my runes and my stones. Little hand. Frick you! We have the powers of Black Flame! And we will not... Go down without a fight! Oh, Sonic wants to fight. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic's got the bloodlust. Sonic's beating ass. Beating hands. Beating hands. Oh no, the middle finger! The middle finger, watch out, Sonic! Ah, here they go! Ah! 
I love how they move. Hey, sweetie. Oh, come on. It's legitimately so scary. Uh, toast him. Welcome Joy to Toasty Town. Stared at Jacob's face and wrapped her little tail around the around the mic. It was very cute. Joy, you you're very cute. Joy's so. But also, you're a little punk ass. You're a little pump ass. Yeah. What's this ghost have to say? I'm. Lady Rodney, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. I, you know, and this is not an insult to Eva Thorne, but Anita Puma Pants. Anita Puma Pants is such a funny name. Anita Puma Pants, okay. Gonna touch some grace, real fast. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna hoof it. Follow me, gang. Hoofing it. Wouldn't that be when you summon Torrent? You're not wrong. But I have no desire to deal with these ghastly knights. What are you doing? They're very what annoying. Sorry, all of us are rolling on the desk. And it was cute. Oh, well, here they are. They're coming. They're following. Everything Olive does is cute. Yeah, she's so cute. Raimi's in Come here. on, Sonic! Hurry! Roll, Sonic! Roll. roll, Sonic! Roll, Sonic, roll. Roll, Sonic, roll. Reach out and touch Grace. I got to get me that special seed. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf. Yo, we having a wolf fight over here? The wolf's in the stairs a bit. Oh! Damn! The wolf's clipping through reality. Damn, Ava Thorn. Knock that wolf out of existence. Both cats are like gathered around like they want me to stop playing. Well, it's close to their playtime. You have 15 minutes left. Unless we go over to make up for the time that we spent doing te technical difficulties. Let me try again. Mm -hmm. Let me try one more time. Mm -hmm. Here we go. No, no, Sonic loves rings too much, Jacob. This is the, the butthole sign. <laughs> Sonic's butthole. Sonic says no. Sonic rejects the hole. Yeah, but Thorne's got nothing but respect. I need to take a picture. What the heck? Herba! Olive? Hello. So what the hell? This guy's got freaking unlimited poise. Stab him. Stab him. Get his ass. Page trousers. Took that man's trousers. I'm gonna post that on Twitter. All right, time to fight Loretta. Loretta. Everyone, get ready to fight Loretta. Hello, Loretta. I'm not accepting being laser beamed at this time. But thank you for offering. I'm not accepting being hit with a halberd at this time.
I'm not accepting spectral swords at this time either. Or the big arrow. Damn, Sonic is so aggro. Go, Sonic, go. What are you doing? Why are you rolling? Get her! Thank you, my friends. Why are you rolling? Oh. You've done a wonderful job. I give you a bravo. I just kept looking at in Olive's direction and then she would show me her little belly. They are both in our business right now. Yeah, Joy is getting closer and closer to being directly in front of you. All right, now it's time for us to make our reunion with Ronnie. Ooh. Find out what the heck she's been up to. We're going straight to her damn tower. And we're gonna run right around this dragon. Excuse me. I have no desire to fight any dragon at any time. Thank you. Someone on Twitter said that the cats look so small and cute. They are so small They and are cute. small and cute, okay? They're very tiny kitties. They're only seven pounds. Yeah, they're very small. They just got their yearly checkup, which they got a, an excellent bill of health. Uh, Holdra Cores in chat. First time chatters that I was Ava Thorne. <gasps> Had no idea it would be so lewd. First time stream watcher, long time VOD watcher. Oh, nice. Thank you. I'm glad you made it into the into the game on your first stream watch. That's so fun. What are you doing? What are you doing, you little weirdo? And by Ava Thorne, you obviously mean Ava T. Ho Earn. <laughs> RN, resident nurse. T. Ho, resident nurse. Check out the cool view of uh, Rhea Lucaria in the mist. Mm. So cool. Lots of cool sun rays. There she is. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. You yeah, so that was a fucking lie. Pale and hearty, but tarnished. It's been a while since I've been to a hail and hearty. I have no Same. Do they still exist? Invitation. <laughs> you must be Ronnie the Witch behind the Knight of the Black Knives. Wow. Geraldine Slay has like no subterfuge. Yeah. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Ronnie. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death and used it to forge the god slaying Black Knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it trans is upon rights. that flesh the curse mark is carved. We don't call it transitioning anymore. We call it slaying the body I have been born into. Holy shit. Which, yeah. which completely rips ass. Okay. I have a question for anyone who's a cosplayer. If you were to cosplay Ronnie, how would you do the second face? Because here's my initial thought, and mm -hmm. I think it's a dangerous one. You know those little like those little light show things? It basically like spins so fast that you can't see it anymore, but then you can like program a light onto yeah. it. You could do that. You could put it like in front of your face and spin it, so that it always looks like you have a second face next to you. That's true. That could work. It might be a little dangerous for your face. Would your hair get caught in it? How yeah, would you a little, fix it little dangerous face? for your face and hair. The gayest Minotaur said, Whoa, sweet, I'm also in the midst of slaying the body I was born into. Rock on, Ronnie. Hell yeah. Um, let's just ask Ronnie, Hey, where did the body go? 
And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. The curse mark now. So we got to go back and talk to Roger about this. Yeah. Because we're at an impasse here. I love when you do things to cats that they don't like understand why you did it. So then they like think about it for a second and then they just decided that it's not important. Yeah. And they're like, like is this, should I be worried about this? I'll just pause out and I just like put my finger in it and she looked at it. And then went back to cleaning. Roger? Always good to see you safe. Thank you. So, what do you need? You, however, looking like a nasty wrapped up hamburger. I found out that Ronnie cast off her curse mark. Did you know this? I see. When Ronnie shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, uh, only in order to get what we want. Of course, I would love to become the Rani's location vassal. Of the body which bore the curse mark. No, vassal, right now, vassal. The faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her Maybe service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Tell me more about this proposition, Roger. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, <clears throat> you'll be able to take a poke around on the sly and determine the location of her original body that bears the curse mark. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the only one, in fact. Can you become Rani while in okay, her just making sure. I realize, but I know I enjoy. you've got so now we're going to go back and ask to join Ronnie's. We're not even almost done. I need to go a little longer to make up for the 20 minutes of nonsense that the stream started with. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I can so play don't, with them in the don't lie to Joy. I can play with them in the background. She'll know. Whoa! Oh my God. No, I almost fell guy. in the hole. Olive, why do you look so confused? Ooh. <laughs> she just wanted to roll. This feels unethical. Don't worry, Ronnie. When I talk to Ronnie, she'll be like, I know you're being sneaky, but I don't give a shit. Oh my God. What? Oh my God, there's cats everywhere. Are you here to file a complaint with me? There's cats everywhere. There's cat. Oh my God. You're number three. Oh my God, cat fight, cat battle. There they go. Actually, I think I'm... Joy's number four. I think it's Jacob. Karina. <laughs> Olive. And then me. Joy likes Karina because they have the same energy. It's true. Hey, Ronnie. Um, can I join your service? No reason. <laughs> Not about the things I was asking you earlier. It's a totally different, totally random. And this is so random, but... The curse mark thou. Uh, this is crazy. I actually wish to serve you. Oh, is that so? <laughs> thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service. And good hunting to thee. Yeah, she literally loves scheming so much that she's like, I gotta respect the scheming. Schemers, schemers <laughs> like, see schemers. Oh, are you scheming against me? Schemer recognize schemer. Let's see how this plays out. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior. 
by the name of Blythe. Oh, I'm aware. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor. E.G. And Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Speak with our needs. It hath been a pa- People in the chat are booing Celevis. As they should. Celevis, one of the worst dudes in the game. Look at that dragon. Me trying to climb the stairs with all my tote bags of groceries. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, it's so hard. So now, um... All of Ronnie's homies have Skyped in. Whoa! So I get to talk to their... Get to have a Zoom meeting with them. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. I would never let hold anything against you. Can of ourselves, together. For Lady Rani. I want to say E.G. and Turtle Pope have a conversation. It would be the most fascinating and slowest paced conversation. I feel like it would, it would feel like a nice warm hug. Just the two of them talking and then... Yeah, I would go to sleep immediately. Let us give all that we can of ourselves together for Lady Rani. You got it. You got it, gamer. Now let's go see our husband. Lady Rani. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you forgot, I have not forgotten. I'd have you in the service of I? Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I would never keep you I'm waiting. Below. See if I can't Don't keep me waiting. I'll be going there shortly to meet you and give you a big kiss. And here's this motherfucker. Piece of shit, asshole. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. Family I on. am service. <laughs> Preceptor it does sound like him. Yeah. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. There is no available position open. <laughs> Isn't that what he says? I yeah. In another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside in another tower close by. <laughs> Come and pay me a visit. Should you? If it were up, but I've got my own tower. It's it's, it's cooler. It's cooler and very. It's different. I love it. 
I I to have a tower just as good, if not better, than this one. We're gonna find some evidence of some of the nasty shit he's been up to here in a second. When you have your own tower, sometimes you get up to some nasty shit. Yeah. You sure do. Can I help you, Miss Olive? Ronnie, I talked to all your homies. Ronnie, you've got to put a safety rail on your staircase. Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber. <laughs> Damn me, And it will be some time before I wake. Same. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I'm going to start saying that to you every night before I turn off the lamp. Yeah. A word of warning. I will soon be entering my slumber. And it will be some time before I awake. I shall soon enter my slumber. And it will be... I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah. Which is, I'm going to sleep, fucko. <laughs> Every night. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> and then I make a big fart noise. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just farting. Well, I do a little bit of both. All right, now we got to go visit Celavis. I'm sorry, but the, the upside is there is an important item we get from Celavis's tower. You're gonna love it. Hello. What the hell? The dog was just hanging out. Boing, boing. We're going to not fall and die and make fools of ourselves. Hello, Celavis. Well, well, you took me at got a cool hat, word. though. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh. You provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Is this the, the mom in Arrested do. Development? I'd like you to find a woman. <laughs> Basically. To administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good for her. We will not. I'm going to accept the task. But we will not be giving Nefeli this potion. I um, don't want anyone to be concerned that we would give Nefeli a potion that this man gave us. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. How much could a banana cost? <laughs> Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings and soon. I expect glad tidings and a merry Christmas. <laughs> I've no time for idle chit chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. What does the potion do? I time for the only thing I will. Are we and I have enough. I'm going to show you in a second some of the stuff Celavis is up to. And then I will tell you what the potion would do. Who just has like a big hole? In the middle of their tower. This little freak. Also, it's so I can fit my hat without bending it. Can we talk about how Celavis fucking Zoom called in <laughs> to a meeting that was right up there? How was I expected to walk the same streets as peasants? The provincial streets. The provincial streets. Just like Bill. Mimmy Stone. He's not here for that provincial life. Hell no, he hates that shit. He wants to be kidnapped by the beast. But he wants the beast to stay in his beast form. I'll never say I love him. So no. he stays forever as a beast. Here's the special item. I love that shit. The wolf mask. 
Oh no, my theory is proving apt. Oh. Now Blythe will have no reason to reject me. <laughs> the description on it is pretty good, actually. That's not how you look at it. <laughs> you look at it like this. A mask fashioned after the head of a black wolf, relic of an assassin who assumed the guise of Ronnie the Witch's loyal shadow. The likeness is striking. So an assassin put on a fake wolf head and then walked up in here and was like, hey everyone, it's me, Blythe. <laughs> As normal, I might, I'm the normal Don't Blythe. Me. Not here to assassinate anyone. And everyone's like, you're like five foot two. Blythe is eight <laughs> feet tall. What are you talking about? I do like the comment that just went by that was, ah, yes, the potion, the potion for Nefeli. <laughs> Nefeli's potion. <laughs> um, okay, so if we go over here to the edge of glory, we have to be careful, make sure we don't fall off here. Hey, it's me, Blade. <laughs> it's me, Blade. <laughs> It's your old pal, Blade. Blade the dog man. Bark, bark. Oh, ooh. I'll only jump down from here if you snap. <laughs> if you clap. <laughs> <laughs> so if you come down here onto the roof, and then you can do some little, little dropsy daisies. Mm -hmm. That was Darawell. That's why he was so mad at Darawell. Do some little dropsy topsies down into this room. There's actually an NPC down here. We didn't even see this guy when we played the first time. Spell but you'll notice some uh, disturbing oh. um, things. A lot of dead men. Going on here. Oh, you. It's an Albanoric. Uh, it sorry, your worship. I apologize for any offense given. I am Pidia, servant to the Carrion royal family. I am charged with maintaining these ghastly dolls. So these are all dolls. Um, what Celibus likes to do is uh, give people his potion that essentially makes them into his dolls that he can then command and use however he wants. That's Celibus's gross thing, and that's what he wants to do to Nefeli. He wants to make Nefeli into his doll. Who would play Celibus in the Netflix uh, reenactment movie of this Psycho Man? You know, like they just came yeah, out with yeah. the... It would probably be... Um, who's that dude that plays Kingpin in Daredevil? No idea. Oh, Vincent D'Onofrio? Vincent D'Onofrio would be Celibus. When you said Daredevil, I completely forgot there was the show, so I thought you were talking about the Ben Affleck movie from, like, yeah. 2001. I think it'd be Vincent D'Onofrio. Ah, I think it would be Willem Dafoe. To be of use, other than the puppets, I feel like Willem Dafoe so should be someone else. Things up here in this storeroom. Why not pick something out before you go? But please... Can you offer poor ill start Pitya a little something by way of compensation? Where are you going to spend it, dog? I feel like Willem Dafoe plays like crazy too good, mm. but I'd want him to be someone a little more unhinged. Maybe he's like the voice of the, the what's his face, the grafted. Yeah, like Godric or something. I feel yeah. like he'd make a good Godric. So this guy sells some stuff. You can get a ripple blade. Wow. You can get a larval tier. You can get carrion retaliation. You can get some sedistial deal. What's that document down there? 
That's a Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook no, 7. No, the other one. That's a weathered map, a simple map badly weathered. Okay. All right, so now that we've done this, what time is it? 11.13? You can keep going if you want. Uh, we'll go just do like the, the, the Rogier talking, and then that's where we'll call it. Okay. Because we got to go report back to Rogier about what we've done and what we've seen. You you got so close. You got so close to the end of the stream. The humidifier ran out of water. Hello, Roger. Always good to see you safe. Thank you. So, what do you need? Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice oh. of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand. Sorry, so I'm scary. about to die. Yeah. It's going to be my bad. So then get ready for several reloads. All right. Hi, Ali. I love you despite my allergies to you. You still got a bald spot going on. What's up with that? Can you solve that? So oh. now we come back, his head is down. He's not doing so hot. He's beginning to fall into a deep and fathomless slumber. And we quit again. I think my favorite character in this game is still the girl who's like, all my friends have been grafted and I don't want to do that. Yeah, I like her a lot too. Am Rod I weird for thinking that? Yeah. She's like, I feel bad that I don't want to be grafted. Because that's such a mood. Yeah. I don't want to be grafted either. But like at some point she thought she did. And then she was probably like, what she was supposed sucks. to do. Like she got yeah. sent there for that purpose. And then she's like, I'm used to this if I can't be grafted. And then she finds her purpose. That's great. Still not doing so hot. I believe in you, Roger. You're going to pull through. When we load in this time, you will have recovered. You just needed some time to rest. I think I like Roderica because she's one of the only characters that improves. Her life doesn't become shittier. Oh. Well, so you get his bell bearing, his outfit. Dang. And he also gives you a letter. Dang. Oh, what? What? Okay. okay. And we can check out his letter. Okay. Letter written in a trembling hand. Julia? I'm sorry, Olive's nudging me with her head. We're almost done. I forgot to tell you, but it seems Dee has a younger brother. Damn. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nakron. And it's said he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that spot. It's a lowercase D. It's Lil, Lil D. Lil D. So Roger is unfortunately dead. Do you have to inform? I mean, do they know? Does he know that D is dead? I mean, not, not D. Roger is dead. D, do you know? <sighs> do they know it's Christmas? No. Can't even tell him. That sucks. As long as he doesn't out. walk out there. Yeah. He doesn't have to know. It's like Schrodinger's cat. It'll be fine. Um, but I guess that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. Jacob, I'm sorry that your streams are cursed. I'm your sorry. I'm streams. sorry, too. Maybe if I try Kaz's secret tricks, yeah. it will be better. Uh, it was still fun, though, once we got it working. 
Yeah. And um, we'll be back on Sunday. Yep. Finishing up Case of the Golden Idol. Finishing up Case of the Golden Idol. And, and depending on how long that takes, we'll probably have a backup game. Yep. But it might take the whole stream. I don't know. I hear those last two are pretty long. Yeah. Uh, but that's the plan. And then the following Wednesday, we'll do more Elden Ring. And then after that, we're going to be gone for a bit. Uh, go into Georgia to visit my family. Yeah. So we'll miss the following Sunday and Wednesday. But then once we're back, we'll do some bonus streams. Yeah. Reminder that there's new merch. Yeah, new merch. Let's look at it one last time. And then uh, Drawfee is back for streaming on Monday, this upcoming Monday. Otherwise, if you're in America, have a good Thanksgiving. And like this, and like this, and like this. We got the new Jukem Justin shirt that Julia has made. And also the new Two Chairs, Two Beers shirt. Two incredible quotes that we still say all the time. And they're both you quotes. And they're both they're both from me, but brought into life by Julia's hand. Julia's expert hand. Uh, have a good Thanksgiving, everyone. Remember to, uh, I don't know, have a chill Friday. You don't got to go out. Yeah. Unless you do. Do whatever you want. But, you know, whatever. Everybody do whatever you want. That's what I want to leave you with. Just be happy and safe. Yeah, or not. It's up to you. Be miserable and unsafe. Whatever. It's not my problem. I don't got to deal with it. I don't got to deal with the repercussions. You do. Anyway, I'm thankful for all of you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks we'll be for back watching. On Sunday. Bye. Bye.